Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do just a really quick video for you guys today on how I float my minky on top of my hoop when I make my baby blankets. Um, I am actually recording a, another video, which will be out after this one, of making a blanket in real time with me. Um, but I wanted to get the name embroidered on it first because I didn't think you guys would want to sit there for eight or nine minutes while it embroiders. Um, so I'm just getting my pieces ready for my next video, but wanted to show you this first. So I am going to show you how I float it on top. So I have my minky already cut out. I have, the only thing I have right now is cutaway uh, stabilizer. So that's what I'm using. Normally I use um, tearaway. I don't think it really matters what you use. I think it's personal preference. And then I have my extremely dirty five by seven hoop. So I'm gonna bring you guys closer. Oh, and my basting spray right here. So I'm gonna bring you guys closer and show you how I do it. Okay guys, so what I am going to do first, is embarrassing showing you my hoop up close. It is so dirty. I did not take care of it from the get go and have just sprayed directly on it. If you want to avoid this, which I suggest you do, when you have your item hooped, um, like before you spray the basting spray, tape it off with masking tape and then and then spray it. I did not do that and I fear it is too late for me. So I need to clean this. Maybe I'll do a video on clean, uh, excuse me, on cleaning it. Okay, so I have my five by seven hoop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hoop my stabilizer. I'm not putting the fabric in it. I am hooping the stabilizer. Oops. Okay, pushing it through. And then I'm going to tighten down here. You could either use the screwdriver, uh, the little flathead screwdriver that comes with it, or just use your hand. And then I'm just pressing my, pressing the hoop right here to make sure it's laying flat right here. And then I'm going to pull on the stabilizer and tighten it, all while making sure I'm not pulling the inside of the hoop out. And then, going until I'm happy with it whoops and then you take your fingers and kind of tap on it and it's supposed to sound like a soft drum so there we go and then you could either cut off this excess stuff or leave it I don't really mind so I am paying attention to where my little clamps are on where it hooks into my machine because um, I'm going to be doing the name horizontal on this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my minky, my big piece of minky, this is a big rectangle, and I'm going to find which way my nap is going. So this is against the nap, see how it, the minky goes up like that? So the nap, sorry I had an alarm go off on my phone while I was filming. So this is against the nap, and this is the way the nap is going. So. I want to do the name, I always do the name in the bottom corner of which way the nap goes. So to me, this is the top of the blanket, this is the bottom of the blanket, and I want it diagonal in this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten it out towards me. So see the corner is going directly towards me, and I'm paying attention to which way the the dots are going and I'm going to take my hoop and so this is the end that clamps into the machine so it's going to be facing this way and I'm going to put that this way I'm making sure the clamps are facing that way because I know how I'll show you in a second how I'm going to position the name in my machine um, so right now I'm focused solely on how the blanket is in here. So I haven't done any spray yet. I've only laid it on top of my hoop because I just want to see where I'm at. So I'm just straightening it out. I'm looking at this right here. I'm kind of making an outline of the inside of the hoop to see where I'm at. Um, I can see that I have less fabric on this corner than I do on this corner, so I know it's not centered. So I'm going to reposition it just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to lift up 
and find the corner and I'm going to make sure it's in line with the little notch that's right here on the side of the hoop that lets you know where the center of the hoop is. I make sure this point and that center line are lined up. And then for extra, for good measure, I get my tape measure and I measure how much is on each corner. And I have an inch on each corner. So I know that because this is lined up and there's equal amounts of fabric on this corner that it is center. So that is how I know that. And I'm looking at the hoop and I know that I'm going to embroider the name right down here. So now I'm ready for my spray. So I'm just going to gently lift up without moving it to the side or anything. Spray. and then gently fold it back down. And before I press, I'm just going to double check my corner with the line. And now I'm ready to press down. And then that's, that's what you do. So now it is secure and ready to go on to our machine. So let's, let's go over there. Okay, so now I am going to hoop, or I'm sorry, not hoop, hook this onto the machine so the clamps are this way. So I'm just going to gently slide it underneath and then hook it on and then make sure I straighten it back out. I love hooping on this side because then the fabric's not all bunched up in the throat of the machine. So now, since this is the bottom right corner of the blanket, I want the name to stitch this way. It's gonna be on this side. So I'm straightening all of my fabric out, making sure it's not folded underneath. There's nothing worse I have found than uh, sewing your garment. I've done it with shirts a couple times, sewing it underneath because you didn't realize it was folded under. It's awful. Okay, so let's find our name. And this is the Brother PE 800. I don't think I said that before. Um, I do have an affiliate link from Amazon down below. Um, if you guys are interested, there is that link. So this is the name I'm doing. So these are just the, let me bring you guys a little closer, sorry. So this is just the screen for the Brother PE 800. So this is how your hoop looks to the machine. So I want the name on this side. So I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. Okay. And then I'm going to move it all the way down. And I'm actually going to make it just a little bit bigger. Okay. And then end, and then it's ready to embroider. And I already have my thread and everything ready to go. So all I have to do, oops, sorry, trying to move you. So all I have to do is put my water soluble stabilizer on top and then we will sew. So I will do a time lapse with um, it showing or with it, with it showing, goodness gracious, Kayla, with it sewing. And then I will show you guys the finished product. Okay, so now we are ready to take this off. So I'm just gonna lift up the foot and then press the button over here to loosen it and then pull it out. Move this to the side. And now I'm going to cut all of the jump stitches and then tear this off and then cut the stitches back here and pull it out.
Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for today's super quick video on how to float minky on your embroidery hoop. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow where I sew this into a whole blanket. I'm gonna go film that right now. So I will see you guys tomorrow.